Electric Cars for Police end up being an incredible failure. Total catastrophe. The police have completely failed in their climate change uh, initiative here. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on the DailyMail.co.uk. So, there's been a lot of talk about electric vehicles lately. Electric vehicles will save the environment. Despite the fact that electric vehicles are usually made of plastic, which are made from oil, and not to mention the fact that car batteries, especially for electric cars, are an environmental are an environmental disaster. But here we have, you can see this headline. Police waste 1.5 million on electric cars that they admit are useless for chasing criminals because they can't go fast enough or far enough without a battery change. Now, I hate to say this, but I think a lot of us saw this coming. An electric car is almost always inferior to a gasoline car. And think about it, folks. When the power goes out, what do you do? Because you can stockpile gasoline, but what you can't do is stockpile electricity. It's simply not that easy. Unless you're going to have, like, tons of batteries, spare batteries lying around. Meanwhile, you could just get a big old tank of gasoline, and it's going to serve you well for a long time. But before we look at this story, a quick word from this month's sponsor, unsilencedvoice.com. Unsilencedvoice.com is a free speech platform where you can post dank memes and join communities with content that you enjoy. Whether it's aliens, art, or just awesome posts, you'll find them all at unsilencedvoice.com. Join today. So here we go. Police have spent millions of pounds. And in my last video, I think I called pounds euros. I apologize, Europe. I apologize to my European audience. Pounds. Pounds sterling. Or wh whatever, whatever exactly the term is there. On electric cars, they admit are useless for chasing suspects or rushing to help victims. Oh no. Whoever could have thought. Once again, this is the reason that trying to fix climate change is so pointless. We don't have the technology. These cars are not ready to be to, to replace gasoline cars, nor are they as useful, nor are they as powerful. I mean, this is how it is. Forces around the country have brought at least 448 environmentally friendly vehicles to help them meet green energy targets. And this is another reason, okay? Because it's always in the West. Oh, we've got to save the planet. We've got to save the planet by using less gasoline we're still going to use gasoline but we're going to use less gasoline and then you know what happens india and china responsible for for some of the quickest growing pollution on the planet they don't do anything they don't care oh they'll burn that coal they still do so what's the point no point whatsoever you're just making your own country worse but almost all of the cars and vans are being used in non-emergency situations or by chiefs to get to work. So in other words, none of these cars are actually fit for their purpose, which makes them a complete failure. Official police reports conceded that electric vehicles cannot meet the demands of the urgent response or pursuit driving. They take too long to charge up to be ready for 999 calls and could run out of batteries before a shift ends. This is, yeah, this is how it is, folks. These cars are not serviceable. They're not ready. You can't, these bong police, they can't ch uh, chase criminals. They can't do the job they need to do. <laughs> it's hard It's hard to take the bong police seriously. I mean, look at this stupid hat. Is this hat bulletproof? Where's his gun? Do they not have guns in bong land? I'm not, I'm not trying to, to just be mean to Europe here. Come on, it, this is a joke. I guess it's fair that in America, the cops are too trigger happy, but come on. That police officer doesn't look threatening. Tory backbencher David Davis, who is a former special constable, said police bosses need to show a bit of common sense. I've been in a police car on many occasions when an emergency call has come in. You can't predict what's going to happen, and so they need to be very careful when using electric cars. It sounds like electric cars are creating unnecessary risk and putting a burden on police officers and not allowing them to do their jobs properly. This is not good. Figures from 30 of the country's 46 police forces show they have bought or leased 448 green vehicles, with many more on order. Haha, <laughs> 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 bro, I can go to Bongland and get away with massive crimes. All I gotta do is run on foot. 
They'll run out of batteries. They have together spent at least 1.49 million pounds. I don't know. How much is that? Let's look that up. Okay. Let's see how much the Bongland people are packing. 1.49 million pounds to dollars is equivalent to Americans almost two million dollars. So clearly the pound is stronger than the dollar. But it's clo it's it's fairly close, all things considered. But that's a lot of money. That's a lot of taxpayer money going to these stupid cars. They have together spent at least 1.49 million according to details obtained under the Freedom of Information Act. The true costs will be far higher as several forces refused to say how much they had spent. So Scotland Yard itself has 134 green vehicles and wants to make its entire fleet green by 2050. In order to avoid having to pay London Mayor Sadiq Khan's daily 12.50 pound ultra low emission zone charge. <laughs> this is what you get folks. This is what you get when you vote for the left and when you vote for the climate. Oh, we're gonna save the planet. We're gonna save, you can't save. You know, the planet doesn't need saving. The planet will be fine. I'm tired of Earth Day. I'm tired of these self-righteous environmentalists. I'm tired of these white, liberal environmentalists don't give a about the planet. They don't care about the planet. Besides, there's nothing wrong with the planet. The planet is fine. The people are It's humans who are screwed. It is humans who are in trouble. And it is partially humans who are at fault. The climate is always changing, folks. I mean, Earth could literally plunge into a global cooling, another ice age at any time. And then maybe the global warming will cancel it out and we'll be fine. Maybe it won't even matter. You don't know. And all I know is China doesn't care. India doesn't care. So why should I care? Oh, Mr. Obvious, you should always do the right thing, even if nobody else in the world is doing the right thing. Okay, it's about principles. Yeah, and those principles are gonna lead us into economic disaster. Okay, I'm not gonna pay 20 bucks per vehicle per day just because um, I'm driving a gasoline car? You can go screw yourself. America was born of revolution for less than that. We said no to a tax on tea and dumped it in the harbor. Oh, sh you can't really dump batteries in the ocean, but you get my point. So all of these vehicles, they're non-response vehicles, they're low emissions from BMW, Mitsubishi, and Toyota, but they have to get diesel vehicles for high-speed chases because the electric vehicles suck. An internal report admitted the market is not sufficiently yet matured to offer alternatively fueled vehicles capable of meeting the MPS requirements for the roller pursuit cars. Of course not, it's just a battery. Electric vehicles are always vastly inferior compared to gasoline cars. That's just how it is. We're actually pretty efficient with our gas these days. I know it's shocking. I know it's honestly shocking. And we can do things to reduce emissions a lot. Like we can filter out um, emissions from power plants. We can do a bunch of stuff, but electricity is electricity. And we don't have good batteries and we just don't have good technology. It has warned that the demands of tactical pursuit and containment, ways of ending a high-speed chase, would clash with autonomous braking technology just on caps on maximum speed would inhibit emergency response. We gotta catch that criminal, APB, come on, let's go. Press the gas, press the gas, partner, let's go. Why'd you stop, sir? We have to catch the criminal. It's not me, boss. It's the emergency brake system. It said we were going too fast. Darn it! He's getting away! And now, that's the Bongland police. The emergency braking technology. It, the, this is exactly why the government cannot control everything. Oh, we want to save the environment. Use this electric car. Oh, we want to stop speeding. Now all these cars have... Autonomous braking technology if people go over the, the, the speed limit set by the federal, federally mandated by the government. Wow. That is so hilarious. And that is so sad. Devon and Cornwall police have decided against making its fleet all electric because of the high cost and battery limitations. And there you go. There you go. It has spent 80,000 pounds on four green vehicles used as general pool cars, it said. 
Now, it's 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 fair to, to buy these cars if they're not going to be for like, you know, if it's just for transporting people to places, you know, it's not a big deal. But at the same time, this technology is not cheap. This is all taxpayer money, isn't it? I don't know much about Bongland, but the taxpayers are paying for this garbage. The public does not need to worry about police not being able to get to them because their cars have run out of battery. <laughs> Just when you thought that Bongland police couldn't be any more inept and useless, this happened. So you can blame climate activism for this, and you can blame activists like Greta Thunberg for pushing uh, the West to be more green, okay? Because to them, it doesn't matter what the consequences are. Oh, destroy the entire country with economic collapse because of higher taxes. Yeah, your actions have consequences. What will you learn? What will you learn that your actions have consequences? The mayor says, it wouldn't take a genius to work that out. David at 1960 says, who ordered these? Khan? JB seven 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 probably another seven. Public sector spending needs major review and overhaul. So much is wasted, and I absolutely agree. They're not even that good for the environment, honestly. Three Curl says electric cars are just a climate change fashion, and will never be as popular as petrol or better still diesel ones. Until a revolution in battery technology happens, they will never be any good. Never mind the cost of them. We haven't the generating power to fuel them. Clean diesels are away until hydrogen powered cars come online. And let me ask you this. Okay. These cars are powered by electricity. But where does most electricity production come from? Oh, it's glorious oil. Oh, I love, I'm an American. I bathe in oil. I invade for oil. I love oil. Let me drink that oil. Oh, oil. Dirty energy. These fools who buy an electric car and they're like, I'm saving the environment. And then they plug it in and that power was generated by dirty energy. You've solved nothing. So I think it goes, I think it goes without saying this electric car business, especially for these policemen, is a complete and utter failure. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Do you think the bong police, uh, do, do, do you think that this is working out? Do you think they're putting people in danger because they insist on electric vehicles that don't even work? Like, you can't chase perps with these vehicles. It runs out of batteries. Green doesn't mean green. It's all a lie. Let me know what you think. Now, if you want to support the content that I make, you can join me on Patreon. You can join me on Subscribestar. You can join for as low as $1. And you can currently donate with Bitcoin. I will be trying to get another donation option out there. Probably by the end of the month. We'll see. And you could also just share the video. If you think it's worth sharing, if you think it might wake someone up that you know that's maybe a climate diehard and like, I want to save the planet. Maybe they can watch this video and learn something from it. Who knows? As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.